We arrived in Oregon with very little money, had no background in grape growing or winemaking, and planted an unknown grape in an area that was undiscovered. I believe uh, that uh, Ponzi is producing uh, consistent fine quality and it's a benchmark wine which I love to relate to. Ponzi is not just a great uh, wine, but for me, think about the super family. The Ponzi are our uh, American family. Uh, let's say in Italian, our cugini d'America. As I've watched the Ponzi family evolve into a second generation, I'm left smiling in admiration, awaiting what's to come, and remembering what drew us all to the dream. Your legacy uh, is an enduring one. Uh, you have inspired so many of us that have come after you, uh, and I can't thank you enough for that. For what are, whatever we accomplish uh, in Oregon, uh, we can never give back to you what you initially have contributed to the vision, to the quality, uh, and to the recognition of Oregon wines. We had uh, a, a pretty clear focus of what we saw as an industry. Not that we ever imagined that it would be of this size, <laughs> but as a small group, we thought of ourselves as, as being able to establish the rules and, and the, uh, the knowledge of where to plant, how to make the wine, and, and this exchange of ideas and uh, uh, working together has even evolved to, the, to today. Well, it was small and we were also quite like-minded. There was almost a, a thing of purity, idealism. We could make all the rules because there were no rules here. So we came up with these rather bizarre labeling rules that have been so important to the development of the industry. And uh, the ones governing the, how big a winery can, we could be little, we could have tasting rooms. We, we invented all these things, we as this group. Um, and really set the foundation for the industry. What Ponzi managed to do with the help of other small uh, wine families, those pioneers uh, in the early days, is that we somehow managed to put Oregon on the map as a uh, premier wine growing area in, 40, in less than 40 years, really. That is spectacular. That's why I believe we are all back in this business together. It's something that becomes a part of you. It's a part of your being, if you will, and your soul. And when you don't have it, it's not complete. Um, wine is, has always been the center of our family, and we have been immersed in it since we were very young children. I think my earliest memory was probably planting the vineyard. Uh, and not that I knew what we were doing because I was very small, but I, I do remember us all being out there and all participating in, in some way. And, uh, um, and I knew that somehow I did know it was an important event. <laughs> but for me, it was just a fun day to be out with my whole family working in the dirt. My philosophy as a winemaker is really hands off. And I think the more I do this, the more I realize that how important that is to have patience, which my father always told me to have patience and don't react. And, uh, if you see a problem, wait and see is always the first approach. Um, and I think more and more I'm learning that that really is, is true as, as, you, um, as you grow as a winemaker and you're, and you're doing things correctly in the vineyard and you're um, intuitively understanding what's happening in the fermentations and, and able to de detect things quickly, uh, you don't have to react and, and you can often let the wines express themselves and I think make better wines that way. Kalina del Sonia was an opportunity that we were given to basically start with a clean slate of designing a facility from the ground up using our experience uh, over the last 40 years and applying that to uh, our, our facility. At the same time, it allowed us to set the stage for Ponzi as a major player in the world of wine and allowed us the opportunity to continue our growth uh, on into the second and even into the third generation as we move forward into the future. And certainly Ponzi's success uh, is congruent with the success of the Oregon wine community. And we would not be here without their support, 
uh, and without their uh, enthusiasm and their creativity and their drive and innovation. So the circle that has supported us uh, is, has been critical to where we are today. I, I look at myself as, uh, as part of the um, long life of what I hope this winery will be. And so my job is to, to maintain kind of a, a quality level, um, an ethical level, um, to try to teach the next generation what they should be aiming for. Um, so uh, my goals are to, to maintain really what we're doing, keep the quality high, do the best job we can do, uh, plant more vineyards, hopefully, um, and uh, continue having a, a great life.